One out of three Latino girls considers suicide. Our next guest de decided to take action. We are honored to have her here with us today. Please welcome California Congresswoman Grace Napolitano. <laughs> having you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm so grateful to have you here. So that is a shocking statistic. One in three Latino girls thinks of suicide. That was what prompted you to start this mission? Y yes, ma'am. Uh, in Congress, we have uh, hearings. We, we bring in people to give us information. This organization came in and said, look, the highest attempted suicides in the United States percentage is Latinas, adolescents 9 to 11. So uh, there was an individual in the nine audience. Nine to eleven. I'm sorry. Ages nine, nine to eleven. Wow. Wow. The highest, and the second is African Americans. And uh, uh, in the audience was somebody from SAMHSA, Substance Abuse under Health and Human Services. She says, "Well, if you, anybody's interested, I have a little bit of money for a pilot." I grabbed her and we started working on my district, getting the school districts, who, by the way, were very reticent to allow us in the school because they were afraid of being known as um, crazy schools. Uh, but we did in 2001, we got the program going, it's still going. It is now in 15 schools. And Mark, you have joined forces together. Yes. So tell us, what He's are you doing? He's our champion. Yes. Well, sign me up too. <laughs> Whatever I can do to help. <laughs> tell us what you're doing together. Yeah, you know, well, like we're just starting the foundation. We've just kind of started working this together, and um, you know, again, like I was saying before, I, I'm down to do whatever I can do to help, you know, again, raise awareness and help, you know, help these kids. I mean, that that rate is that's, that's insane. Like from nine to eleven, you know, especially in the Latina community or just the community in general, we just want to. Um, you know, raise awareness, help the children so that they don't get worse, and that will help them build confidence, be stronger for, you know, when they do graduate school, when they go into life, when they start having a job, and then, you know, they get married, and they go through their life, and with this help, you know, and putting the program in schools, you know, it would be, you know, great in the long run. It's all about in the long run as well, and seeking the right, um, the right help, the right communication, and getting it at the core of the problem. And what can our viewers do to support your cause? Well, individually and collectively is tell people to reduce that stigma. It is not, and somebody just, uh, Jordan, yep. you said it, uh, reaching out, telling people, look, I'm hurting, and being able to understand yourself that you can get help. And I thank you so much mm. for doing this. Mm, my pleasure. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, Congresswoman. I'm very grateful to have you. Up next, the suicide warning signs you must know, plus the one-minute test that identifies people who are at risk for suicide. You all will want to hear this. Stay tuned.